Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So I'm Dan from Trading with Dan and this is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys want to mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin charts where there isn't too much to report really. Um, we had, as you can see, a bit of a fake out, a bit of a foray um, into the top half of this range um, above our resistance zone. But that was, as you can see, um, swiftly rejected and we've now found ourselves back below back where we were had a little bit of a test of the downside um it well this morning in this in this past um um for our candle but that is currently getting bought back up and we're just basically in this range so it's not not the worst thing at all we, we got rejected to the upside we came and tested the downside and we're getting back into the range um you could you could very much expect um if we are going to come down and test basically into the 52,000s um this this move down here was the market's best chance to do that in this in this um well medium and shortish term and um, we had to fake out above we got a slam back down we took out all these lows that this would be the exact point that you would expect um them to well the bears to take control in the short term get us down to 52 and a half 52,000 and then for the market to assess um, what it is then going to do at that point is it going to FOMO sell into that and break us below this um, support level or are we then going to bounce off it but yeah I mean as you can see uh, this is a pretty bullish reaction really because like I said this is um, this was a prime opportunity for the, them to take us down um, and they they weren't able to they weren't able to that is not to say um, this net on the next candle we can't move down we are obviously trading um, well below the 55,000 again well I say well below we are looking at a short to a short um, a short snapshot here so only six hundred dollars below but I mean still I mean you can see that you can see the gap um, but yeah, so realistically though, um, if we get back above fifty-five thousand again uh, for our closure, um, then it would it that would look good really. Realistically, we've had the best chance to break down. We didn't, and then we're testing back to the upside for the second time. And you would think that time we've got a a good chance of um, getting getting the acceleration to the upside into into the potentially into the 57 k so that's kind of what we're really looking at here i mean it's a on, in the short time frame not that we really look at short time time frame trades i mean if we do take the low of this candle out i mean we've got to expect we are going to come down and test uh, into the 52s um, and if we do close a four hour above um 40 uh, 55,000 I think we can then expect we are going to come in uh, at least test out the top side of this range may not accelerate straight up there on that one for our candle but I think we will then drift upwards um, to then test the top test the underside of this uh, resistance in much the same way once we broke here we kind of didn't fly up to the next level we kind of as you can see drifted up there over a few candles and then consolidated below um, so yeah, not too much interesting going on in Bitcoin. I mean, the major ranges are there, as you can see, back above 58 and a half. Um, we just we are basically targeting new all-time highs. Um, basically below uh, below 52, then we're targeting 46k. Um, so yeah, tight range, tight range in Bitcoin. Sideways action, re relatively speaking, sideways action, as you can see, sideways definitely, certainly within this wider um longer medium term range that we've got going on here and obviously a longer term bull bull market and um, the star of the show the star of the show here we've now got a uh, a north spot north five handle on the uh bitcoin on the uh, ethereum satoshi pairing um so yeah we are gunning for these targets gunning for the next level look, looking fantastic halfway now pretty much in fact more than halfway more than halfway um on that um move basically to the top of this channel well depending on when it comes in how long it takes but yeah at the moment if we were just a catapult straight up yeah more than halfway basically of this uh of the overall move that we are targeting um to the top so when we were talking about it down here getting above this level getting above this um important this important zone here we were then looking at we were we were measuring it out as about i think it was i think i believe it was a 65 percent move um yeah around because we're around this horizontal as well and obviously we knew it would take some time some sideways movement in this um price finding tool but yeah so around 65 percent um and we're currently yeah about uh, about 30 percent so yeah roughly halfway um yeah with based on that not a halfway and not basically under halfway not over halfway just the eye test that kind of looked halfway but i guess i'm kind of looking at it straight up here rather than i should be looking at straight along here 
um, in which case we're not so yeah a bit of an optical illusion there for you guys but anyway yeah so we are getting we get about, about halfway right halfway we, we settled on that um so yeah just half, half more half my hand can't keep saying halfway half more way to go um and then yeah we'll reach this target um and yeah i mean that is again that is another good basically um a good uh percentage move from from where we are now so yeah basically about another uh just under 30 percent um so looking good for ethereum no real reason why um we should um not hit this target um, even if we then get rejected come down and take out this low and, and just drop into the into the depths of wherever um still you would expect us to come and tap this first um, and then obviously that doesn't have to happen the that a doom scenario we could just break above and then just um continue onwards onwards and upwards um uh, maybe even to the flipping in which would obviously happen at at one uh sorry at, um not at one it wouldn't happen at one uh what am i talking about anyway so um so yeah um yeah so there basically that is what we are looking at a nice move a nice move in ethereum um on the cards here uh, against bitcoin um obviously the usd pairing look it looking fantastic as well whatever bitcoin is trading either sideways or upwards and the ethereum uh, pairing uh, Ethereum Satoshi pairing is trading upwards. I mean, we can we can we can we can do the maths there and work out what that means. It means um it means the dollar pairing is going up. So yeah, looking good. I mean, you can see we sat at these highs. Um, I mean, we have we have got levels around twenty eight hundred uh, to tap. But I mean, do I do I not think do I think we can just basically get up to three k really before tap that level? Just get that that big psychological level. Um, I think we could, I think we could push up there, but like I said, we have got levels at 2800 where we can, uh, around 2800 where we could see a pullback, um, but I think, I, I personally think, uh, maybe I'm just being a bit optimistic, I think just 3k is kind of too inviting for people to kind of hold out for and then to sell at. Um, so yeah, may get front run a little bit, maybe get maybe get deep into the 2900s, but um, yeah, maybe gets front run, maybe gets overshot. <laughs> Remember, this obviously this is the overshoot, and maybe we could go crazy. Um, but either way, Ethereum looking very good as we have been um, been looking for DXY. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, it basically um, still in this still in this um, nice downtrend as you can see um got rejected at a level you'd pretty much expect us um, to struggle at once we came below that level and um, then it was downside we came and tested our next level uh, new lows in this downtrend um next target basically hit supported at and then we've just realistically got this trend line and then um just new lows basically to come and target so obviously don't forget this trend line could be um, the trend line of an ascending broadening wedge, which then would um, indicate a move, a decent move down once we break that uh, formation. Um, so yeah, again, just uh, it's just a tailwind, tailwind for cryptocurrencies. I mean, cryptocurrencies have taken a life, a life of their own. I mean, you can even see like what I was kind of saying. I was saying, look, we get down here, twenty plus BTC, maybe even thirty k. We've not even got down there at all. Um, this is this is how much this is how like kind of predicting movements in, in in crypto is just crazy but yeah you just you get a recency bias of, of what the recent price action is and think well we can't deviate too much from that but that is a human psychological condition a recency bias and that's not um not um a hu markets don't move um based on um what the human um mind can perceive especially not crypto markets um, so yeah, I mean, there you can just see how ridiculous that was. We now sat at 54,000 and we're actually all the way up here. Um, so where I'm thinking, right, the DXY needs to come down to get us to 20K, maybe even 30K. What happened is the DXY is now higher. Um, and then Bitcoin is now basically double, more than double our initial target and touch double our, our maybe even target. So yeah, this just, just bear that in mind whenever you have price targets in, in Bitcoin. Um, cause I know in, in crypto generally, not just Bitcoin, cause like I've been talking about $8,000 end of year Ethereum. And then some people may be thinking that was a bit ridiculous, but I don't think it's ridiculous. And like, I mean, if anything, I've now seen people talking about $10,000 Ethereum this year and things like that um so yeah we'll shall we shall see we shall see what happens just don't under don't underestimate um <laughs> the crypto don't underestimate the other guy's greed <laughs> from from scarface um, anyway bitcoin dominance has got that nice um nice officially confirmed currently trading at 
49 handle so ethereum uh, bitcoin is no longer um no longer the majority of the um of the crypto market so make of that what you will obviously there's going to be a lot of cryptos that aren't necessarily included in this but not many big not any big ones so it would obviously have a slight uh, under under reporting as well but either way on this official reporting bitcoin is now um less than 50 percent of the overall crypto market by um by market cap valuation so interesting times why is eve has what is eve doing um actually on the basis we have seen ethereum having a very spectacular move against bitcoin as you guys have seen from that satoshi pairing the uh, wise eve pairing is actually making a move up as well so on the basis that this is one of the the uh, the most most disgusting charts in the whole of crypto and it's absolutely awful this is why um this is why Peter um, maybe doesn't think I'm that much of a dick when I when I talk about it because you just got to look at that chart and just be like what what can you what can you say what can you say it's it is awful this is literally the chart of a dead coin rug pull but again I'm, that, I'm not saying it is a dead coin rug pull and I still have most of almost for all intents and purposes I basically have all of my uh, all of my wise exposure so. Um, but yeah, I mean, and obviously this is against Ethereum, so obviously it's not against like a dollar value, it's against a variable that is actually doing very well. Um, but yeah, signs of life here at the same time we're getting spectacular signs of life in Ethereum. So that is a double whammy. This is the double whammy that anybody that is in WISE is looking for. Um, the Ethereum to basically get to 8k end of year and then this chart to make, I mean, it doesn't need to even make much of a comeback at all um with ethereum eight thousand dollars um for basically anyone that's got wise to make a spectacular gain from where they are um probably in usd in usd value but also in bitcoin value as well which is my main metric um i calculate um my i'm like a crypto native i, I like calculate what i'm doing in bitcoin value and how many bitcoins i have um even though i don't um i don't leverage trade bitcoin at the moment everything i do is kind of against bitcoin would i have been better just holding bitcoin or would i have been better um doing what i'm doing so um yeah there you go um signs of life here if this gets moving with ethereum moving guys then um we could be in for a wild ride and uh, yes there we go there is a lot of money sloshing around in crypto um chasing certain charts um money might start chasing this chasing this up um so yeah we can we we shall see um stock markets again doing their thing looking fantastic i mean just looking bullish 10-year yield is creeping up still um 10-year yield is creeping up still. this could put a bit of a dampener on the on the party um nice textbook breakout for check back check and are we in for a paycheck move here um are we in the process of it potentially um so just watch out for not that we are being driven by the dollar because we're clearly not just even just based on this um this um how um why is it where's my things um even just based on <clears throat> what i was saying about um about where's those annotations gone where oh they're here yeah sorry even based on what i can see what i was saying here you can kind of see the direction of the dollar is not the be all and end all for crypto because it made an absolute mug of me here um but um yeah i mean it, it can be a bit of a headwind if the dollar does start to strengthen so uh, and if we do bounce off this uh, trend line um, and then just i mean just increase the the length of our descending broadening wedge and even if we then just we are targeting literally this major level here uh, which may then coincide with the top of this trend line it's a risk markets don't move down or move well don't move the way we want them to all the time so this may not break down and come down it may just make another tap of the top of the trend line you never know um, and that would also coincide with this important level we've got drawn in here so that would be a like i said would be a headwind for bitcoin but like i've also said um just judging where this goes um, in the medium term against bitcoin's price is not the most um, efficacious analysis um to say to say the least um other than that um how's how's peter schiff doing um not not too good at the moment um yeah not too good i mean this is just i mean it's showing like it's showing signs of life um it's looking better than it has been but um yeah it's just um it's i mean you can see 
and see what it's doing you can see how far away we are from these highs here as opposed to like say where bitcoin was at this point um also silver um silver as you can see silver not as bad as you can like literally you can see here silver not as bad. silver is literally consolidating sideways at pretty much its highs whereas if we look at gold on the same kind of um so not same kind of thing you can see it's basically trending what well, this is not gold <laughs> this is gold silver <laughs> um if we look at gold you can see it's um pretty much been um trending down so this is clearly well clearly why a derivative of that is the gold silver ratio um trending down um so there you go um not much else to look at <laughs> not much else to look at here guys um we will have a look at those stochastics are they are they getting going is that um is that daily getting going yet is a daily is a daily going to offer us that bit of a move up um four hour as we see from yesterday was coming down i mean indicating that we were going to maybe have a bit of struggle getting over uh 55 which we which we indeed did um 10 hour maybe this is starting to turn back over again we shall see when it obviously takes its sweet time yeah 10 hour there we go turning over but obviously from a high level it couldn't keep going up so 10 hour is turning over um which again could keep us pinned below um could keep us pinned below that 55,000. 12 hour um starting to look a bit tired as well um, but now we'll have the higher time frames um feeding through so daily still turning up um two day looking to turn up well three days still down in so i mean down still downing <laughs> still going down um but yeah so looking at it it's kind of it is kind of just telling me sideways really um like moves to the downsides potentially get bought up moves to the upside potentially get sold back down um and yeah just potential sideways sideways within this large uh, larger range maybe we get some wicks below some wicks above in the in the medium term but at the moment that's the classic read uh, undecided bullishly resetting some time frames um is kind of is is looking at sideways for me really and that is a that is obviously an opportune environment for um um, ethereum to um to altcoins in general not just ethereum altcoins to thrive in a in a relatively sideways bitcoin market um so yeah there we go guys um that is it remember this is not a financial advice i am not a financial advisor um and yeah i shall speak to you guys soon